Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm still working on some spring decor, so uh, I just thought I had my sister had brought me this little gravy boat with a, a spider plant in it, and I ended up having to transplant the spider plant when it grew, and so I just thought uh, I would just make a little nest in this. So a very simple way to add some spring decor to your booth or your store or even your home is just take a container that you already have and find a way to uh, turn it into a little nest. Because I think nothing says spring like uh, a nest with some eggs in it. So I'm just kind of gluing all this in. If you, if we ever want to take this out, the hot glue will just kind of peel right off. So, uh, especially if you were to heat this up. So I just put some uh, Spanish moss in there and now I'm gonna put some eggs in it. And these are just some little foam eggs that I painted and a viewer gave me a great idea of painting eggs, kind of like you're painting, you do when you're painting wooden beads, is just put some in a baggie and put some drops of paint in there and just kind of squish them around until you get them covered. And that was so much easier than what I had been trying to do. Now I'm gonna decoupage on these eggs also just to add a little bit of extra interest to it. And I'm not gonna put these birds on it, but some of the background, the little twigs and, and script, I'm gonna uh, just decoupage here and there on these eggs. So once I get them all decoupaged and dry, I'm just gonna glue them uh, in here. And I forgot to mention that I took my script stamp and stamped a little on these also. And that'll just add a little extra layering and a little extra interest to them. And now I'm going to take some of the little roll netting that comes from the Dollar Tree and just tore up little pieces of it. And I'm just going to kind of squish that down in there and glue it and just give this some more dimension. And it'll also add some extra texture, it just gives it a lot more interest. I think this is a new thing at the Dollar Tree, and I just love it for adding texture uh, to, to a lot of different items. So once I get enough of this glued in here, uh, then I'm just going to start to add some little um, blooms from some of my pigs. And Honestly, you just use very little. I just cut some of the little blooms off and glued them in. I don't want too much on this. I want it to, to look really natural, but I did want some blooms in this one because I felt like it needed uh, some of that white uh, brought up from the, uh, from the gravy bowl. And then I felt like after I got the top the way I wanted it to look, uh, I felt like the the white at the bottom needed something. And so, um, so I'm going to make a hang tag for this, or uh, I'm actually not going to make a hang tag. I have some made up. And so I'm going to just pick out one of my hang tags that will go with this. And then I'm going to take a piece of... Uh, light turquoise ribbon and tie around the base of it and uh, that will kind of break up some of that white on the bottom and then after i put that ribbon on the base of it or the lace on the base of it i decided to add a rusty safety pin so that it will kind of bring the brown down from the nest and also from the little bird on the tag and just kind of make it look a little more cohesive but as you can see here it really needed that white to be broke up so I just tied it in a knot I didn't even bother tying a bow and just kind of cut that off and then put that little safety pin in it and that's all that I did to this and you can see how quickly and easily this came together 
I think probably the most work in this one was doing the eggs. And I like to keep a lot of those done up ahead. Uh, usually, uh, I had to add this decoupage, but I usually try to keep some of those done up ahead. And sometime last year, I thrifted this little um, miniature watering can. And uh, I'm just going to give this two coats of the color buttercream. I didn't even bother um, taking the tag off the bottom because it was really secure on there. And I'm just going to cover it good with this paint. And the way I'm doing this one, the bottom is going to be against the wall when it hangs anyway. So I just uh, just gave this two coats of the Color Better Cream. I painted both the inside and the out side of this. And then I'm going to take some napkins that I did, that I um, got from Marshalls a couple years ago. With these lavender stems on them and I'm going to decoupage those all around the outside. Now, I'm even going to decoupage on the, on the uh, narrow part of the spout uh, but I want to make sure that when I'm when I decoupage this on my lavender stems are hanging down as if they were hanging to dry. So I just do it that way on both sides and uh, just decoupage this on until I have everything covered. And I don't cover the handle, but I do most of the spout. And then I'm just going to take, once I get this all covered, I'm going to take the color moss green. And it's just a color that I mixed up that I think looks a lot like moss green. And then I'm going to trim out some on this. Now, once I get all my trim painted on this, and I'm going to use my ink pad to just do some fake distressing on it, uh, then this will get a clear, uh, a clear coat over the top to seal everything in. This is going to be an indoor thing, but uh, still this chalk paint needs to be sealed. And using, using an ink pad is an easy way to get some, some distress on when your item uh, doesn't need to be sanded. If I sand down to this, it's going to go down to that raw metal and it won't be pretty at all. So I just kind of rub my ink pad across some of those high spots. And then I just take some of my green Spanish moss. And I wish I knew where to get this moss from. Uh, because a friend gave it to me and uh, I really like it for spring. It's not a bright green at all. I think a lot of the mosses are too green, but this one is just a very soft green and I really like the look of it. And then I'll just glue a few eggs in here and um, that's all that I'll do on the inside, but then I'll add a hang tag to this. And because I want to add some more of this blue from the egg so that they don't just not go with anything, I'm going to take uh, some of this color of lace and tie a bow around the top there. And then I'll add my hang tag underneath that. So then this added... Uh, added something to uh, something that I otherwise wouldn't be able to sell and it just turned it into a little piece of spring decor. So then that'll just hang on the wall. I know I have it hanging on a little stand right now but that will just hang on the wall and the bottom of this will be flat against the wall. So the next item that I'm going to be making over is a little wall caddy. I think it's for matches, but it has a drawer there in the bottom. So this is also going to have uh, an arrangement in it. So I give this two coats of the color buttercream, and then I'm going to be doing uh, some decoupage on this one. And I'm going to do a little bit of script stamp on this one also. So I just put some little random script stamp on there. And then I'm going to decoupage just there on the front uh, a napkin that I actually purchased with 
the other lavender napkin, they actually, I, I guess, are meant to be as a set. One is, um, one is a dinner napkin and one a cocktail napkin, I guess. So, um, I'm going to decoupage that right on the front. So, once I get that decoupaged on and let that dry well, then I'm going to take my orb orbital sander and give this a very heavy distress because I wanted uh, a lot of distress in this one. And then after I uh, distressed it the way I want it, uh, then I used a clear sealer on this and I just used a Minwax Polycrylic. And you could use any kind of top coat you want here. I just... Um, I've been using some of the polycrylic today, so I had a paintbrush in it already. So uh, I just give this a really good coat of this and let that dry. And then I'm going to put uh, an arrangement in it. So what I'll do, because this is lavender on this napkin, is put some lavender in the top. And then, um, and then I'm going to put a nest in the little drawer. So I didn't show it here, but uh, or I'm not showing it here, but I did put some floral foam down in the top, and instead of gluing that in, I just I just kind of forced it down in there so that it will stay on its own. And now I'm cutting this little pick from the Dollar Tree or from uh, Walmart actually apart, and I'll put just a little bit of that in the top. And I just keep adding pieces of this until I get this uh, filled up. And I, I don't even think I use a whole pick on this. And then once I get the top filled up and I'm happy with the way it looks, then uh, I pull out that little drawer and, um, and stuff some Spanish moss down in that. And then... Um, and then I'll hot glue some eggs, some little foam eggs in there. And then this one will be finished. Now, I don't know about you guys, but my thrift stores always have these little wooden items like this. And, and uh, I'm usually able to buy them at a really good price, even at some of the pricier thrift stores. So wood items are, I feel like, are a really good value and something that's very easy, easy to flip. And then the next item that we're going to turn into some spring decor is, uh, is a wire whisk. And um, I got this at the Dollar Tree. I actually bought several of these because I've made flowers with these in the past and things like that. So I'm going to turn this one into a nest. So the first thing that I want to do with this is uh, paint it a dark color because I want this to look old. And I'm going to be painting it uh, in the color buttercream, but I'm going to paint it to where a lot of that brown will show through. And that will just kind of make it look like I started with an older whisk. And I'm using a darker brown here. I think it's called coffee bean, but you can use any color of brown that you want. You just need something dark to show through when you paint the lighter color on it so that you'll get some, you'll be able to see your distress. So once this dries well, then, uh, then I put one coat of the color buttercream on it and I just kind of tap that on there. I don't do much brushing uh, because I, I want some of that to show through. So I'm purposely trying to make it look uh, just kind of chippy. And for wire items like this, the best method that I've found is just to kind of tap it on with your brush. So I'm painting both the inside and the outside. And again, I'm trying to leave some of that dark showing through. And then once I get this covered well, then uh, I'll take it outside and spray it with a clear finish. Any kind of clear finish that you want to use will work on this. You just want to seal that chalk paint in. So once this is dry, I'm going to put a little makeshift nest inside it. Uh, but I don't want it to be loose. 
uh, I was able to just stuff that Spanish moss inside my other items, but this one I need it to hold together because I don't want it falling out of this whisk. So a, um, a viewer told me that the best way to make a little nest is to put you some moss in, your ba in a baggie and then put your glue in there and then just kind of work that glue into it. And uh, I've been using that method and it is an awesome uh, way to do this. So uh, I didn't have to mix this a whole lot. I, my big thing with this one, it doesn't need to hold the shape of a nest. It just needs to stay together and not try to fall out. So this was perfect for this. So I stuffed enough to, in there to look like a nest. And then I'm going to put some little uh, robin eggs in here. And, um, and this will make it a really cute little nest. Now, I guess if you could find a small enough bird, you could also add a bird, but I just felt like these little robin eggs would be enough for a nest this small. And then I'll add my hang tag to this, and I'm just going to do a simple little hang tag that says uh, just a handwritten nest. And, uh, and then I'm going to tie it on with some um, coffee-stained cheesecloth because I felt like this needed to have a, a really primitive look. So that's why I did uh, the word nest in lowercase. I feel like that gives it more of a primitive look. Uh, but then I just tied it on with uh, some cheesecloth. And again, I did coffee stain this. And I just really like the look of this little primitive nest. And it can be hang hung from... Uh, just about anything because it's so small uh, but uh, I was real happy with how this one turned out and obviously there's very little material in this so uh, you almost have nothing in in uh, materials now the next item and the last item that I'm gonna make over is a little votive holder that um, that I thrifted. It was actually uh, still had the tag on it, but it, it's made to look rusty like this. Uh, so I wanted to take the little glass votive thing out. Wasn't able to get it out, so I ended up having to just kind of break that out. And then when I did, uh, this kind of came apart, which is fine. That's what I wanted anyway. I want this to look like a nest. So I'm just going to kind of manipulate this wire, which was pretty easy to do, and turn it into a nest. Now, as you can see, I wasn't able to get the glass out of the very bottom because it was glued in. So in order to keep that safe, and um, I mean, it's going to be covered up anyway, but I felt better about just putting some hot glue over the top of that till I got the glass completely covered before I glued this on. So I'm just kind of pulling out those little, most of those little um, wire pieces uh, that go vertical on this uh, were pretty easy to just kind of break off and pull off. So I got all those out and then I was able to mani manipulate the bottom end of this into a nest. So once I got it shaped the way I wanted it, uh, I just glued it on there and I used both hot glue and E6000 on this. And then once I got that glued on, I added some of my Spanish moss down in that also and uh, it made a really neat little nest. I just love the rusty look of this so it, it just made it very easy to turn it into a nest. So once I got all the Spanish moss that I felt like it needed in there, uh, then I just kind of glued it into place and uh, glued a few eggs in there. And then I just kind of started adding some other uh, elements. So I just went outside and got some very thin little twigs and just kind of started sticking those in here and there because I feel like that gives it more of a natural look. And then I just cut some pieces uh, from some little um, from little some little picks and just added some other little touches to it. 
and none of these little nests have been uh, very much work at all and uh, none of them have uh, any serious amount of materials in them so uh, lots of room for some profit here with very little time now i didn't in this video but i do end up going back and adding a hang tag to this one but other than that this one was finished now i'm working on some more bird houses because i just really need to get those out i, I need to make plenty so i may as well make them in, in another video so i'll be doing that uh, i don't know if i'll do it the next video or the one after that but uh but be watching for that I just love doing spring decor because I feel like it opens the door for so many ideas, probably more ideas than, uh, than during the Christmas season, for me anyway. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.